Okay, here's a quick little video just to explain the different stages of the cardiac cycle and how you can recognise what stage of the cardiac cycle the heart is in uh, in exams. So if we think about what the different chambers of the heart are called, uh, that will give us an overview of what's going on. You may remember we always talk about the atria being at the top of the heart and therefore these chambers here are going to be the atriums. Now, remember when you're labelling the heart, then you're looking at a patient's heart or your own heart. So basically, it's going to be the opposite way round than it normally is. So this side is going to be the right side, and the other side will be the left side. Okay, at the bottom of the heart, you've got the apex. And then you've got the two ventricles here and here. So you'd have the right ventricle and the left ventricle at the bottom. Uh, then you've got the main uh, blood vessels leading into the heart, so this will be the vena cava. Uh, you've also got the blood vessel leading away to the lungs, which is this one here. So this one would be the pulmonary artery. Coming back from the lungs, you've then got the pulmonary vein. And then leading away to the rest of the body, you've then got the aorta. And that's, just, that's all you really need to know except, of course, the name of the valves. So in between the atrium and the ventricle, you've got the atrioventricular valves, uh, which is on both sides as well. And then inside the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary uh, and the aorta, you're going to have the semilunar valves. Okay, so we're on to the first stage of the heart then. So the blood is already in the atria, and the atria are now contracting, pushing the blood through the atrioventricular valves and filling the ventricles. This happens simultaneously on both sides of the heart. So both atria contract, pushing the blood through the atrioventricular valves into the ventricles. That means in the diagram you can recognise that the atrioventricular valves are open, and maybe, if you're lucky, the bottom of the heart will look like it's engorged with blood. This is known as atrial systole. So whenever it says systole, it means that something is contracting. So the atria are contracting in this case. So then we've got this stage of the heart. So the blood is already in the ventricles, and now the ventricles are going to start to contract, and they'll push the blood up to the top of the heart into the, on the right side, it'll be to the pulmonary artery, and on the left side, it'll be into the aorta. You can see that the atrioventricular valves have now slammed shut, preventing black flow, uh, backflow, whereas the semilunar valves, which are here, are open, allowing the blood to pass through. So if the atrioventricular valves are shut and the semilunar valves are open, you're going to be in ventricular systole. In this case, it's the ventricles that are contracting. So now the heart is in its final stage, which is known as diastole, or diastole. Uh, in this stage here, normally in the diagrams in the exams, both valves will be shut. So the valves, which are the atrioventricular valves and the semilunar valves will be shut, okay? Uh, but there is nothing to prevent the blood that's now filling the atria to move down into the um, ventricles by gravity. So there's not actually a contraction taking place, but sometimes blood will be moving through the um, valves. So they might show the valves open like a very small amount, but the bottom of the heart is not engorged. Uh, so this bit here. Uh, I think it's pretty unfair if they do do that, but you just need to be aware of it. So all the valves are shut, the heart is relaxing, that's known as diastole. Sometimes if they were being very, very mean, they might talk about atrial systole being at the same time as uh, ventricular diastole. Um, so that's just showing that the ventricles are relaxing as the atria are contracting. Um, I don't think they'll actually mention that in the exam, but just in case they do, at least you know the meanings of the words uh, systole and diastole. So hopefully you should know the stages of the heart cycle now. Uh, be sure to check out the other videos where we're interpreting pressure graphs and also ECG traces and trying to show some of the context questions that you could be asked in the exam. Uh, hope to see you soon.